Social Security Administration, how can I help you today? Yes, what is this deal with this phone call I got about some suspicious activity with my Social Security number? All right, and when did you receive the call from my department? Uh, it was a little earlier today. All right, so did you receive any case file number along with the phone call? No. I didn't really listen to the whole thing, I just got the number down. Okay. Now, could you please help me out with your first name and your last name so that I can go ahead and pull out your record and let you know why you are receiving a call from my department? Rupert Hale. All right. Can you please tell me your first name and your last name, mister? I told you it's Rupert Hale. Rupert, right? R-U-B-E-R-T. No, Rupert. R-U-P-E-R-T. P-E-R-T. All right. And can you please spell me your last name? Uh, it's H as in H, A as in Alpha, mm -hmm. L as in Lima, mm -hmm. E as in Echo. Okay. All right. Just give me a few seconds here. Hello, Mr. Hill, are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right, uh, Mr. Hill, now before I go ahead, could you please help me out with your current mailing address? My current mailing address is 147326. You got that? 147326? Yes. Sharts, right. Sharts Road. What's the street? Sharts Road. S, S, S as in Sam, H as in H, uh -huh. A as in Alpha, R as in Robert, T as in Tom, and S as in Sam, Sharts Road. Uh-huh. Okay. Sharts Road. Uh-huh. Green Camp, Ohio, 43322. Green Camp, Ohio, right? Right. And what what will be your zip code, sir? Four three three two two. All right, just give me a few seconds. Okay. Well, Mr. Hill. Yes. All right. Um. So, did you uh, receive any call from the local police department today? No. That's kind of scary. What's that about? Right. Okay. Well, uh, Mr. Pell, the reason you were contacted today is to inform you regarding some legal enforcement action filed on your social security. We have got an official order to suspend your social at this right, away, or this right moment because we have found uh, that your social is uh, ha that your social is doing. I mean, we have found many suspicious activities done on your social. So I want you to make a note of the case ID number and the warrant ID number. Okay. Okay. So I want you to grab a pen and a paper. Okay, I've got it. All right. Write down your case file number. It's T X seven zero one zero. T as in Tom, X as in X. X-ray. TX yeah, seven X is in X-ray. TX seven one zero. Seven zero. Seven zero or seven, seven one zero? Yeah, seventy ten. Seven zero ten. Yeah. Okay. All right, and write down my name, Simon Morgan. Simon. Morgan. Simon Morgan. Yeah. And my employee ID number will be GS, G is in Golf, S is in Sarah, 10523. 10523.
two, three. Okay. All right, Mr. Hill. Now, before I go ahead, could you please repeat the information that I provided you so that I can make sure you got the correct one? Yes, the case ID is T as in T, X as in X, 7010. Your name is Simon Morgan, and your code number is GS, G as in golf, S as in S, 10523. All right, now, here are some following clauses which has been used against you which are the, the Money Laundering Control Act of 1986, Section 18, Bank Secrecy Act 1970, U.S.C. Section 5311. It was the first federal law which requires financial institutes to assist U.S. government agencies in detecting and preventing money laundering. FATF, which stands for Financial Action Trust Force Act, CFI, Office of Terrorism, and Financial Intelligence Act, Anti-Drug Abuse Act of 1986, Money Laundering Act under Federal Charge, USC, 1956, Section 27, Subsection 11, Federal Conviction for Money Laundering can result in fines of up to $500,000 or double the amount of money that was laundered, whichever is greater. According to Section 42, Subsection C of 1958, Drug Enforcement Administration Act, you are going to be taken for a non bailable jail term of 18 years and the penalty should be $89,000. So now, Ms. Hel Mr. Hal, before I go ahead and explain the information, may I verify the social security number to prove you inside the government courthouse that you are the correct person? Yes, go ahead. Yes, go ahead, please. You said, can you verify my social security number? I said, go ahead. My question was, can you verify me your social security number in order to prove the courthouse that you are the correct person? You're at the courthouse right now? Drumming up these charges against me? I said I will be proving this information to the court house that you are the correct person, okay? Oh, I don't want you to do that. I don't want to go to jail. I shouldn't have given you my address. All right. All right. So please give me the last four digit of a social security number just to prove the court house that I'm speaking with the correct person. Okay, well, is this going to get me off if I give it to you? Yes. It's 1732. All right. Let me just update this information, all right? Just stay connected. Okay. All right. Thank you for being on hold, Mr. Hell. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. All right, Mr. Hell. I've just updated this information to the good house, but we don't find any social number with the last uh, number of the... 1732. What do you mean? I believe you have provided me I believe you have provided me the, la the wrong four digit, right? Well, I gave you the wrong digits because I don't want to go to jail. Well, Mr. Hell, I am not here to make you believe or to convince you, all right? If you don't want to cooperate, do not waste the government time. Well, all can, right, you can, can just hang up the wait the a minute. Hat with the legal consequences, okay? If I give you my correct social security number, can I uh, get my uh, attorney? I'm sorry. Can I get my my uh, my friend who's a lawyer to help me?